All right, hello everyone and welcome to the Super Mario Bros. 1 tournament here at Pace. We have 15 total players, six players racing at a time. Each player is going to be doing six races total. We have multiple people running and we were able to see it on one screen. It's amazing. There's some real talent out here. Nifsky is unbelievable. GTA is unbelievable. I'm really just honored to be around this much talent. It's great that this event, you get the competitive aspect of speedrunning. Right at the end! The nerves hit hard. I almost passed out. Countdown, please. Three, two, one, go! And we're on. First run was definitely the most nervous I was. Last time, 1-2 was really my killer. This time, I've done fine on it each time, but then I just do some random blunder after. Now I gotta fix those levels. Oh, Cosmic done. My first three races, I did not finish, but I, I, I had that break to like reset myself. Bowser would be nice. 554. I'm just really proud of that I was able to like finish those last three races and even get third in the last one. The final two that I just did, I got first, feeling a lot less nervous, and I played basically perfectly for what I was going for. First race, I was going for the strats Nipsky was going for. Didn't work out too well, so I was like, go for fire, just get consistent. There was one point, one of the runners did flagpole glitch, and they had like an insane pop-off. Whoa, flagpole glitch. Who did not got flagpole glitch the first of the day? It's, it's insane that someone was able to actually get it. That was probably the best moment for me. I heard someone died. Ooh, Spiker died. Oh, and GTA also dies, so now that puts JT not in the lead. They just all yell, JT, JT. I'm like, oh, I guess I'm in the lead. Yeah, so now GT's very comfortable lead. And then I I won it, so I was very excited. And there we go. 504. That might be the fastest Firefly time we've seen today. The event's been great so far. Uh, he's had a great time meeting all the friends that he's met online over all these years and just getting to play. I think it's a great experience for him. Oh my gosh. Flippity Dibbity's tech with this has been phenomenal. It is amazing. What Flippity Dibbity has done is like insane. I don't even know how it works. Shout outs to Flippity. Oh, this, he's, he's very smart. Just seeing it live for the first time is a whole new experience. Super easy to follow and you can tell exactly where everybody is and that leaderboard that tells you how many seconds you're behind. The technology is just phenomenal. <laughs> In any other races, there's just like four screens and you can't really see anyone at the same time. But here you can really see everyone. It's really cool to see. This is only my second time seeing speedrunning live. And being able to see the leaderboard on the side is great. And then that view at the bottom helps me keep up because there's a lot going on. <laughs> it just flows. It's just smooth. It's amazing. All good to see scrims in here. Excellent. Races are insane, like seeing Super Mario Bros just being raced across all these runners and having software to where you can like see where everyone is at and like have all of them on screen at once. It's really amazing tech. I have so much respect for the amount of work and dedication it took to set it all up. No other community has this. We've been talking with like Mario 64 runners, they all want it. We're so lucky that Flivity has done this. It's like it's the coolest thing I've seen. The positive responses from people is so fulfilling. It's just great to see people enjoying it and having fun. And I think most of all, I just love the runners who are just getting a chance to play with their friends and compete in this environment, which is different. It's just super exciting. Lipsky takes it with a 4.59 flat. Oh, this was incredible for the final race. Yeah, it's honestly mind-blowing. This is one of the craziest bits of software I've ever seen for any speed game. 